China's Communist Party is expanding its crackdown against Christians in cyberspace. International Christian Concern reports Christian accounts have been blocked on the popular online program WeChat and Bible apps have been removed from the China App Store. On this week's episode of The Global Lane, China aide President Bob Fu says that action proves the party is determined to erase and destroy the Chinese church. With the so-called uh, pandemic, of course, uh, excuses, uh, now the Christian churches, including both the official government sanctioned churches and the uh, independent house churches, they were all not allowed to operate uh, even in the virtual setting. That, that's amazing. It's not just shutting the doors of buildings, but also shutting doors online. So let's go a little broader now, Bob. What did China Aid find after examining Chinese government actions against Christians and other people of faith during 2020? China Aid has uh, found uh, with our uh, in-depth research uh, that in 2020, the persecution against uh, Christian churches, against the human rights lawyers, um, both in the government sanctioned church and the house churches have reached really to the worst level that we have not seen since the Cultural Revolution in 1960s. I mean, this is the third year of the uh, Communist Party's so-called sanitization campaign, which means anything that is found not compatible with the President Xi's ideology, communism, socialism, is uh, going to, uh, is going to be regarded as the enemy of the state ideology, and uh, we have seen even the church members who are organizing uh, prayer meetings online had been targeted uh, with the uh, criminal and administrative detention. Just in the past few days, the largest house church in Beijing, the Beijing Zion Church, have two of their pastors being uh, kidnapped and um, even sentenced to uh, uh, 10 days administrative detention. And uh, we have seen, of course, under this uh, sanitization campaign, pastors uh, receive uh, four and a half years imprisonment for refusing to put uh, the Communist Party's posters of propaganda in their church building, for refusing to put a Communist Party's uh, national flag at their parking lot. Of course, we have seen Pastor uh, Wang Yi, the, uh, who was sentenced to nine years imprisonment for preaching a sermon, uh, uh, pleading for pe President Xi to uh, suspend his crackdown, asking him to repent so that he can get salvation. That is 10 years, I mean, nine years imprisonment. And, and part of that, Bob, I know we've talked in the past about facial recognition software, social credit scoring, people being denied jobs, promotions, they have low scores. Uh, they're not considered to be good communists. They don't have favors. So how is that scoring affecting Christians or people who are not part of the government-approved, government-controlled church? Yes, 2020 marked uh, really the uh, uh, first year, I think it's the whole called the national um, the, the, the uh, digital authoritarianism rule with uh, uh, literally 2.6 billion face recognition cameras uh, has been installed uh, all over uh, China, which means uh, every Chinese will have two face recognition cameras ha are following them. The so-called social credit score had been also instated with the big data plan. If you are a Christian, if you are especially a Christian pastor uh, or a uh, house church leader, or um, anyone who has a religious faith that is not compatible with the communism uh, will uh, guaranteed have a lower score, which means uh, you may be banned from even buying a train ticket or air flight, uh, air flight tickets, and which means you couldn't get a promotion, which means uh, your family members cannot join the uh, civil servant uh, test or join the military. So you are regarded absolutely as second or third class citizens. A lot of Americans yes. are, are afraid that may come here with vaccine passports and so forth. So finally, Bob, on this program and other CBN news programs, we've reported for some time now about the Chinese Communist Party's persecution of the ethnic Uyghurs. 
Many of our viewers don't realize that not all Uyghurs are Muslim. There are quite a few Uyghur Christians. Tell us about them, and do they suffer the same oppression? Yes, you're right, uh, Gary. The Uyghur Christians and Uyghur Muslims and uh, even the other minorities like Kazakhs had been suffering the uh, genocide, um, as the secretary, uh, former Secretary Pompeo designated. I mean, between one to three million of them are still in the concentration camp. We just, uh, China Aid just rescued a Kazakh family. The mother suffered at least 16 months uh, in the concentration camp. She herself was abused, and also she was a witness, eyewitness, uh, seeing a, a systematic government-organized forced prostitution. I mean, how can we, with a good conscience, deal with a, a government uh, committing such a, a grave a genocide and a crime against humanity, and yet we're still treating this as business as usual, like uh, these uh, uh, American companies are doing in China? So it's the time to have a wake-up call. And for more stories like this and important trends in the day's headlines, be sure to catch The Global Lane. You can watch it this evening at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, and you can find it on the CBN News Channel.